Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Daily Devotional this morning. I'm Pastor Jin of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the Daily Devotional with the Upper Room. I hope this devotional helps you with your daily journey with God and fellowship with Jesus Christ today. Today is January 20th, 2023, Friday. The theme of today's devotional is How to Pray. The scripture is from Luke chapter 18, verses 15 through 17. People were bringing even infants to him, and he might touch them. And when the disciples saw it, they sternly ordered them not to do it. But Jesus called for them and said, Let the children come to me, and do not stop them, for it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Truly I tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will never enter it. Amen. Another scripture is from Proverbs 22.6. Train children in the way that they should go. When they grow old, they won't depart from it. Amen. Today's story is from Nevemani, who lives in India. The six-year-old daughter of a church member once asked me three questions. Who taught you how to pray? Who touches pastors? Who teaches pastors how to pray? And can you teach me how to pray? I decide to teach her the two prayers my parents taught me when I was a child. My parents thought it was important that my siblings and I learn two prayers that would become models for us to use even in our adult years. A prayer of gratitude before meals and, Lord, and the Lord's Prayer. I memorized these prayers as a child without fully understanding them. But as I grew older, the Lord's Prayer became a lifeline for us. When the disciples asked Jesus to teach them how to pray, He taught them a model prayer that also provided them with guidance for how to live. And although Jesus taught the disciples the Lord's Prayer 2,000 years ago, it is still part of faithful practice in homes and churches around the world today. I have passed these model prayers on to my children and grandchildren, and I am sure they will pass them to the next generation. Amen. Do you pray? Do you know how to pray? Actually, prayer is our conversation with God as we talk to the human beings I mean our family and friends we can talk to God God understands what we are saying and God knows what we want and God is ready to listen to us but still it is important to discipline ourselves to pray kids does not know no when they know that it is the conversation, what they want to say to God, they can make it. I um I asked the I asked my children to pray before meals. And I also we also pray together before we get to sleep. When we have important things in my uh, family member. We also pray together. Kinds of so recently we pray the last day of 2022 and the first day of 2023 for gratitude and also the guidance in the new year. I intentionally ask ask kids to pray, and they also know 
how to pray for the meal. Because we, I taught them and my wife taught them. Prayer is a conversation with God, but sometimes people do not know how to pray. You can say, Dear God, thank you for God's work in our lives. And we ask to lead us in our lives. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. These little prayers have everything. And these short prayers can give us the moment that we can, we sit down with Jesus. Church family, you know the Lord's Prayer. And you know and you can pray by yourself. It is blessing. It is blessing to pray. Church family, let us pray together because God is ready to listen to us. As Jesus said, do not stop them. Let them come. Let the children come to me. We are children of God and our God never stop us from coming to him. Rather, God is saying, come to me, come to me, come to me. Through prayer, we can come to God. Through prayer, we can share our thoughts, minds, and our lives with God. Let us pray. Let us pray to God. And let us listen to God through the prayers. Let us pray. Loving God, thank you for children. Help us to nurture them with your word so that they may feel your presence in their lives. Amen. Hope you have a great weekend and I will see you on Sunday for Sunday worship at 10 o'clock 139 Main Street, Little Falls, New Jersey or online through Facebook and YouTube and YouTube is a little bit better usually. So please come and join us and I will see you again uh, for Daily Devotional next Tuesday. Thank you. Bye.